Hey guys, welcome back. Let's play Shadow Hearts Covenant. Last time we had plot dumping time, and I had many issues with the cutscenes that we saw. This time, hello, look who's off screen. Now, in the original, it's four by three. You wouldn't actually see our friend over there until after, so the uh, scene doesn't make a whole lot of sense until after but yeah the uh, the sprite there is already loaded even though it wouldn't be uh in the original is that pink bat still here she's here and now there's another one too yes we can see really pretty nice silver color we know a silver bat don't we It is. It's been a while. Keith, is that you? What's an imbecile? I don't understand. I think you just proved the point there, buddy. Keep quiet. So do we have a new party member? One thing only. Pretty embarrassing. Just got appointed the president of the World Lottery Society. Now, if you remember the previous game, he was lottery member number two. And the only way you could uh, play the lottery with him is to go back to his castle with him, not in your party. And then you would play the lottery against an invisible uh, character who the only one we've seen be invisible in that game was Keith. The president, you were promoted. Yes, so... The last present was getting a little old. Yeah, 700 years old, if you remember the previous game, because the last president was Roger himself. You were next in line. Wasn't he like 700 years old? Yes. Huh, for old time's sake. This is one of the most annoying lottery uh, sequences in the whole game. Um... It's just not a lot of fun. I would like to get the meteor mask because it's a unique piece of uh, a unique accessory. And the reason why I did the strike expands uh, over with Yoshiko is because her ring is so much easier. Rose bondage is going to be a nightmare to get, but it is, I believe, Joachim's ultimate armor in the game. This is why it's difficult because it's random. The speed changes whenever it feels like. I think I missed that. Get it? No! Suddenly you lost your form. Well, I'm going to uh, have to reload. World's undergoing some big changes right now. Enough to see even straighten you out. So yeah, he would join our party, but he's got to be the lottery guy now. Rather solid. You can rely on him for sure. He's a little, you know. <laughs> Except for in the previous game where we were able to defeat uh, our golden friend. You know... I'm getting uh, flashbacks to Final Fantasy VIII. What is he, Fujin? <laughs> oh no, Raijin. Fujin was a girl. I knew that. Alright, now the Peach Bat is no longer here, but uh, we will uh, we will reload and we will get the uh, two things there. Let's see if we can get uh, one of the other ones here. Go for the yellow one. The yellow one is also... Whoa, that changed speed rapidly. As you can guess, as soon as you get one, go save and try again. You may want to save some of your uh, lot extra lottery tickets um, just because it's how tedious this is. But yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, that's one down. I'm going to go save and go get the other one then. Oh, 
Okay, I would not blame anyone for who at least who's playing on an emulator for using save states to make the reloading process easier. I will freely admit that I did the same just because, you know, save stating at the start of it and then just going through it over and over again is a lot faster than reloading your save file over and over again. But uh, yeah, not a whole lot of fun to uh, try and do. Rose bondage, as you can see, it's better. Dangerous looking bondage gear for a man. Oh my. Okay then. I think this is probably the perfect armor for Joachim. Let's give him his ultimate armor. At least I think that's his ultimate armor. Pretty sure it is. And with that, we are finished. We have done all the lottery. Uh, by the way, I don't think he'll show up until you've done lottery with everybody else in the game. Um, so you have to do lottery and I think you have to win at least something. It, even tissues might count. I, I don't know. I just I I always get the rare item from everybody and then move on. So anyway, with that, Last time we saw something appear, the Queen's Garden. And I should probably reset up my party. But first, let's go to the Queen's Garden. I actually forgot about this dungeon. For whatever reason, I always think that this one, because they don't really talk about it all that much, is... Uh, I always think of this as like an optional dungeon, even though it's not. So this should be, I believe, the penultimate dungeon then. Hmm. Secret villa, huh? Why do you know about it? All oh, right, 700 years old. Someone paid it a visit recently. Oh. Okay, so they actually give us a reason for why Kato was uh, in Southampton when we went there to meet him. It's a stone called a moon crystal. That's what you're after. I'm not sure if there was like a cutscene if we went to Roger's house or something like that, but yeah, he just said we're going to revive Alice and then we have access to this area. Uh, they don't really explain the connection. Um, presumably, we need that in order to perform the magic. But uh, yeah, we get a nice uh, free heal from Roger there. Before we go in, I am going to save after getting my rare item. And you can actually look at the save menu for once because we don't show the, uh, the uh, save file I have uh, where I've completed the game. <laughs> don't want to show you that. All right, this area is a little on the weird side. As you can see, there's some stuff around here. Thera extract. Oh, what was that? What was that? Depression in the mantle. Looks like something fits in it. Don't turn away from me, Yuri. What have we here? It's a chess piece. This one's a knight. We've got the knight. Okay, then. What are we supposed to do with that? The game doesn't explain very much now, does it? It's all we can do in here. Let us go over here. There are enemies around here, and we will find them, and I should probably have gone and set up my characters, because they're just the same ones I had for the previous fight, but uh, okay, that's fine. We will roam around here until I find a battle, and then after I find a battle, then we'll, uh, we'll do some other things. Let's go over here. There's a pawn. This is my second uh, chess piece. 
chair by the table. It's facing the bookcase. It's a picture on its side. There's a lottery ticket. There's another one, by the way, if you uh, need to do anything with it. The glass door is off and sitting on the floor. Flag hanging from the ceiling. It's blue. Picture hanging from the wall. It's tilted toward the flag. Sofa here. It's facing the entrance. There's a vase on a little stand. At least I thought there was battles in here. Maybe there aren't battles in here? I could have swore there were fights in here. Alright, well, let's uh, keep going around, I guess. No fights, really? I wish there we go. I was sure there were fights in here. Alright, new enemies! Bethlehem! That can't be YouTube safe. Um, some weird scorpion doodad. And... That can't be safe for YouTube either! Well, that's that. The whole game is demonetized. Uh, let's ch combo everybody up. Uh, doesn't really matter, we'll just destroy things like we destroy everything else. Um, no. Normal attack. The enemies, as you can see, are relatively powerful. Should be able to deal enough damage. Wow, that was a lot more damage than I was expecting. Okay. Um, Anastasia. You guys are together. Let's see if that uh, helps you out all that much. The answer, no. No, it doesn't. Oh, I missed. That sucked. Oh well. Come back with more health next time. Next time we fight those enemies, I will have them actually get attacks off on us. But as you can see, as long as you're you know, semi-competent with your ring, you should be able to finish things off relatively quickly. Now, if you've ever played chess before, that looks kind of like the king piece there now, doesn't it? Let's see if we can go this way. Hey, save point, I see it. What? What? It looked a lot closer than this. I disagree. Video game? How many hallways do you have? I thought there was a cutscene here. There we go. Something's odd. Maybe it's just my imagination. Never mind. If you go back once, obviously that screen just loops because we haven't done what we're supposed to do yet. This door won't open. It's a depression in the lock. Probably have to insert something. I wonder if the knight would do the trick. It doesn't look like it's uh, that shape. Guess we gotta look for another piece. Okay. So this area is strangely laid out, to uh, say the least. It's uh, it's even on both sides, so it's not like it's hard to figure out and find your way from place to place or anything like that. This door won't open. It's depression. We've gotta put something in there. Insert the pawn. Hey, look at that. We finally got something. Now, what this has done, it won't open. Something written on the lid. Rectify the differences between the two rooms. It's an exact reflection of the other room, except for obviously mirrored. So we have to make, you know, note everything that's different that wasn't there before. The VODs can either be on there or on the bed, so we're going to leave that since it was there before. Glass door was not up there. We need to fix that, so it goes over there. Uh, over here. We get a seal of force, which is appreciated. 
Now here, something fishy about the pitcher. It was on its side before, so I think it's good. The glass door was like that. Uh, the chair. Uh, where way was the chair facing? I think it was facing the bookcase, so it should be good there. Something's off about the flag. Yes, the flag is the wrong color. I'm not sure how you fix that. This should be tilting toward the flag, so we'll do that. Oh, we already got it. Yeah, there's a few things that can be different. Uh, this can be, I think this one's facing the bed now. It can be facing something else. But we managed to successfully do that. And we get the queen. All right, we're going to go down here. Now, there is a treasure here. Is it in a chest? All right, what can these guys do? Let's, uh, we'll have everybody guard. Oh, you know what I'm not equipping? Ah. I am stupid. I should be equipping the pedometer, and I'm not. They can absorb MP. They can all absorb MP. Good thing we're going to go right by the door. That's an interesting attack. Alright, we'll use some normal attacks, no combos, and finish off some of them, and then we'll see what the other ones do. There we go. Do something! Okay. Cast spells. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to these guys, I guess. Anne's Cross is fantastic. Well, I guess that's pretty much all for these guys. Not particularly special, but, uh, okay. All right, let's pull in Corando because he already has the right things on. Uh, we will get rid of, you're a higher level, put you in, and we'll put in Yuri. And there, I've got everything all figured back out. There is an item here. There we go. Paralysis 3. So we got that. Let us go back to this room now that we've got some more pieces. There is a depression up here that we saw before. Pieces a little too small. Uh, do we try again? Okay, we don't have the right one for that. That's fine. So now we gotta go all the way back up. Not like that's difficult to uh, get there, but uh, yeah, there, there's a bunch of items here, but very few of them are actually, you know, all that worthwhile. You're not gonna miss anything other than maybe the Seal of Force. Well, some of the enemies can use level three spells, so I guess that's a thing. Other than that, yeah, not a whole lot to worry about. All right, let's go in here. And now that we have the queen's piece, we can put the queen's piece in there. Now, back here is probably the only other valuable item. Very well completely hidden flambridge. That will be for Karen. Finally give her a nice upgrade. Maximizes the pain of those it cuts. Frightening. All right, um, one other thing. Uh, did we see this yet? If we didn't, there it is. Uh, the thief earrings, we just got those. 
worn by the legendary thief who stole money, honor, and even an entire country. Increases chances for trophy money and collecting items, so that goes both up 20%. Unfortunately, we can't, like, we might be able to double up, can we? Uh, yeah, looks like we can double up. I don't really know why you would. Um, the amount that 20% gives isn't super important in the long, you know, scheme of things, but it's nice enough to have, and I might as well just equip that on somebody. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think we've seen most of the other things that we've gotten there. Uh, what else? I am looking at the wrong thing. Here's a chessboard. Something written on it. The knight rescues the white king. I think we have to put the uh, knight we found on the chessboard. I don't know the first thing about chess. Now the thing is, I do know about chess. Unfortunately, you can't move the board to find out what pieces they are. And I'm not exactly sure. Um, the f one down to my right, that would presumably be a castle. That would make sense. The rest of them, I can't tell because they're just so blurry. If you get this wrong, you have to fight uh, a battle. And it's not particularly obvious um, which one you're supposed to do. Because like this one will be able to attack whatever that black thing is right above. And nothing is actually endangering the uh, the White King over there right now, to be quite honest. But uh, if the King moves, then the King's screwed. But yeah, all of these are a normal Knight's movement to get that one black unit in front of... What is that, a horse? I don't know. None of them are really all that useful. I believe this was the answer. But it's hard to tell. Like, I, I know the rules of chess. I know how the pieces move, and it doesn't make sense to me. So, either way. For doing this, you get the king. And I believe, yeah, that's the, uh, the last of what we can do there. Now we got to cut all the way back around once more and go to that very first room. So let's do that. Yeah, this isn't a very interesting dungeon. It's also not a very long dungeon. We've explored 90% of the area already. So we found a knight, which we used. We found a pawn, which we used. And we found a queen, which we used to get into that room. So I guess the only thing left to do is to use the king on the one area that we saw that we could put a piece in, then call it a day. I missed. I'm bad. I have delay on still? It tells you how much I pay attention to those things. Oh, shit! Yeah, there's not... I don't know. that This dungeon just quite, kind of seems boring to me. There's not really much to it. The puzzle doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I'm not sure why everything's being protected anyway. But yeah, Karen kicks some ass. These guys use level 3 spells. It doesn't hurt that much. We move on. They fall down. Ah, oh, not enough damage. You have instant death on, so that might work. Nope, you just killed him by damage. <laughs> We've kind of reached the point where combat becomes pretty mundane uh, outside of boss fights. And even a lot of boss fights, you can basically play very much the same way. Uh, we've just reached that level of power where no one really stands a chance against us, and we don't need to gain levels for the rest of the game. We're more than powerful enough to just finish things. But if we do that, the room up top 
and yes, we're heading all the way back up top again, is now uh, will not loop us around anymore. So we need to go all the way around once more. And the only reason I'm taking the left side or the right side after finishing up with the left and right rooms is just for something different to look at because it doesn't matter. It's the same amount of time to go from one to the other. But anyway, yeah, each, uh, each room that we've encountered uh, has, or like room, not hallway. So yeah, each of the uh, little side of those four side rooms that we've encountered has two items, one of them being a chest piece and one being an actual item. And then the far left room had a hit area expand and the bottom right hallway had a paralysis three. And that's pretty much it. Would make this area seem kind of boring but what's not boring about it is what's coming up because there's actually more than just plot related stuff to go on here. But anyway, that's pretty much all the time we have for this one. Next time we will walk the final few feet and we will find out what's going on with this uh, crystal moon crystal, whatever it is. And uh, of course, we'll find out who's guarding it. That's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.